want to spend a moment, though, now to chat about some of the issues that actual voters went out and voted on. We can speak to Michelle Goodwin, Professor of Law at the University of California. Thank you very much for coming on the programme. It's my pleasure to be with you. So one of the big issues for many Democrat voters was abortion at this election. Just talk us through why and what influence you think it's had. Well, this has been a significant issue since the United States Supreme Court at the end of June overturned Roe v. Wade and Planned Parenthood v. Casey, nearly 50 years of precedent protecting the right to be able to terminate a pregnancy. It was a stunning blow, which many people criticized as being very selective or opportunistic uh, judicial interpretation at the court. There was considerable backlash, but what was interesting is that Immediately after the decision, there were many male Republican uh, leaders who were saying that this was the right decision and that, in fact, in their states, they would enact laws that would ban abortion and, in fact, trigger laws. These laws that were in effect 100 years ago, sometimes even more, immediately came into effect. Now, those laws have been contested. But in the meantime, there were five states where these issues went to the ballot. And many Republicans thought that they would actually prevail, that is to get constitutional amendments, either to ban abortion or to defeat efforts to ensconce abortion in the state's uh, constitutions. And there was just a sweep. We don't even call it a Democrat sweep. It was that abortion won this evening in the United States. Interesting. And is there any way of no? Of course, that, that specific that you were talking about, one specific votes on that specific issue. Of course, we can we can infer the direct consequence of that. But what about more broadly? Is there a way to relate the performance of the Democrats with this issue? Did it motivate uh, Democrats who perhaps may not have voted to come out and vote uh, for their local Democratic candidate? This is an excellent question because what we saw in those votes is that they were not exclusively Democrat. This was also Republican. So what was on the line was how women perceive their own autonomy and liberty. So you saw abortion winning tonight, where in some spaces Republicans may have also prevailed. That is to say that there may have been women voting to protect abortion rights and also voting in some instances for Republican candidates. We might look at that in states like Montana and also in Kentucky. But overall, Democrats were really quite successful at making abortion a critical issue for the midterms. They did far more successfully than what was predicted by major news outlets, which thought that this was not a major issue and that the concern was what's happening at the gas pump or concerns about what's happening in, in the economy. So it was really overlooked that women would take these issues to the polls and that men would too. Interesting. And your position, obviously, on the issue is, is very clear for our viewers. We should obviously say there is a, an alternative point of view, too. But from your point of view, when the dust settles on these elections, where does the issue of abortion and a woman's right to an abortion stand? Well, you know, I want to clarify something because abortion has become deeply polarized. But as I say, to just clarify what my position is, in 1973, Roe v. Wade was a seven to two opinion. Five of those seven justices were Republican appointed. The Republican president, George H.W. Bush, his father, Prescott Bush, was the treasurer of Planned Parenthood, the most known or namely organization that supports reproductive freedom. So I think it's actually a mistake to think about reproductive rights as a matter of this poll or that poll when historically Republicans have been strong supporters of abortion rights. But where this stands going forward is that still in some states, abortion has been deeply constrained or in fact nearly banned. And so in those particular states, for people who support abortion rights, I'd imagine that there will be more referenda like we saw in the United States in five states. Michelle, it's been great to talk to you. Uh, Michelle Goodwin, thank you very much uh, for giving us your time. And it's so important to talk about the actual issues that people are actually voting on in the US. Thank you very much.